All right, you can see this, I hope so. So this is, um, I guess, an update for my Doppeldecker game. And I'm going to say this right off the bat, the way I'm going to be doing the Doppeldecker game for me. Um, and if Rob wants to go um, another route with it, awesome. Like, I'll help him out as much as possible. As in, I'll give him I don't know, whatever rights or intellectual property you want. I'm just going to stick with my little... Um, I'm just going to deluxify the living dickens out of this game. I'm going to try to make it almost like a um, like a 70s, uh, you know, wood grain TV stand type of a thing, a majig, like the old old stuff. That, like, yeah, I just want, it's going to be clunky. What I do want to get, a like, eventually what I do want to have, though, is, and I think Rob's going to show me how to do it tomorrow. He's going to br be bringing his uh, thing over. Here, can I zoom out a little? I think I can. Hold on. Yeah, that should help. Uh, he's going to show me, he's made a cardboard prototype and he's going to show me how to make the legs out so I can just have a whatever. Uh, for my deluxified version, I think I'm going to extend um, the hexes out uh, m much and maybe I'm probably going to go more to, a, I think, more of a square rather than a rectangle. I'm an abs This is just, I did this once to embellish, um, I think, a community tab picture that I wanted to do. This is uh, one of the uh, user done GV or, or Jev, Gev, whatever the hell you want to call it, Steve Jackson game. I call it Jev um, game. And then I wanted to put something below. And I, you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to do something this way at some point when I want to start doing uh, things such as the uh, barrage balloons and reconnaissance or anti aircraft or where, you know, uh, maybe strafing trenches, all this type of stuff. I was like, yeah. Why am I showing this? Well, I wanted to show it to you, as well as I was saying to Zoe last week, um, I don't get impressed by myself very often, but I was like, geez, I'm really enjoying making these rinky-dink little, uh, or painting these rinky-dink little uh, planes, and I um, might as well show them, I want to show them up. I'm not uh, completely uh, happy with all the paint jobs and whatever, but such is life. We'll go with the Germans first, because they're far away from me, and then we'll go towards these guys. So yeah, yeah, you saw the barrage balloon. I'm just doing a quickie. Um, you know, nothing amazing. But uh, and I didn't. I just put. Uh, you know, like I said, nothing amazing about a barrage balloon. Is this the first? I think it's the first plane I did. So this would be. This would be. Um, Noah Noah crosses uh, plane. This is a. Halberstadt D5, I do believe. Let me see. Or is that a Fokker? No, that's a Fokker. Yep, that's a Fokker. That's a Fokker uh, um, D7. Yes. That and that one is Otto Schultz. Uh, Otto Schultz's plane. Uh, I'm happy. Oh, and did you see the other sides? I don't know. Hopefully these are coming out. Well, I don't know. I'll find out later. Yeah, this is Otto Schultz's uh, plane. That's also a Fokker D7. Did you see the uh, underside? Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, they're as fun as hell. Um, well, it's putting these little uh, pieces of paper on. Sometimes it it's the roundels that drive me up the effing tree. Jesus H. Christ. Okay, finally got to do a Hobblerstadt D, uh, D5. One of my favorite planes. Second favorite now. I'm a spad... Well, I'm also in a, I like the DH2, the Airco uh, DH2. That's a, it's um, a, what do they call it? A pusher, because it's got the propeller in the back. Um, oh, I like that one. Um, yeah, I'm not as a big fan of the Halberstadt D5 as I used to think I was, because it, it reminds me of the Sop with Camel, that slender uh, fuselage tail, uh, going towards the tail. I'm not a big fan of, also not a huge fan of the paint job I did with this guy. Uh, the, yeah, I still have to figure out, maybe shrink her down a little bit more, I'm getting a... But, hey man, I think it's coming out pretty well. I've had to use four, uh, four times magnification glasses, but, uh, you know, I'll find out later if this is uh, if this thing doesn't work. And this is um, Hans Zipper's um, plane. So, so there we go, and that'll be my ace. We still haven't figured out how to do aces yet. Uh, this is all for Wonderland stuff, and like I said, this is um oh this could be like an in-house game. I love it. So this is the first one, and I thought 
as long as I can get this done by the time uh, Rob shows up, I was kind of happy. At least he's got one out of his three done. So this is uh, Billy Bishop's, my version of Billy Bishop's uh, Sopwith Camel. Um, at least I tried to get the blue uh, thingamabob uh, done there. I, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I don't know. Find out later. Uh, it's been not a... So what I've been doing, I know you're not supposed to use the whole tail to paint the colors of the whatever there. But it's like there's such little amount for me to paint. What the hell do you want me to do? So the round dowels, yet again, I have to get a bit small like I'm, whatever. Um, yeah, they're just not fun to do for me. Uh, but I get off on the finished product. When I see it, I'm like, holy cow, do you ever look nice? Uh, so that's a sop with camel. This is a Newport, I don't know, 27? I don't even know if they went up that high, but let's go with the Newport 27. I know it's a Newport. I'll give you that much. And whoever uh, Rob decides to uh, call this is... Uh, that's it. Yeah, I just finished painting this guy up uh, earlier this week. And this one is a... I uh, just finished painting him up today. Um, yeah, he w uh, the varnish was drying on this dude during the live stream. Uh, this is the Brist this is a Bristol F2B. So I finally did an F2B. I'm really happy, man. I was actually painting a 1 to 72 scale version of this guy, but um, yeah, that's it. Um, and I like him, man. I'm really happy. So at least, oh, this is going to be the weird, another little weird kicker is that uh, this thing can shoot behind uh, uh, the gunner. It's a, it's a two seater, I guess the F2B uh, thing tells you that. And. Um, God, they were smart back then, eh? And um, the, the gunner can shoot backwards. So I'm like, oh, and I was talking to uh, uh, Mike, uh, uh, Rob about this a, a while ago. I'm like, you know, um, we're going to have to deal with that. Like, what the hell does that mean? Type of stuff. Oh, other fun stuff to think about. Yes. Um, other than that, um, I'm making some more. Um, well, here, I'll do a quickie thing if I can. Doesn't that look nice? I am getting off on them so bad it's not funny. I can't wait to do a diorama. That'd be so cool. Um, I'm making some more Rin Tin Tin and uh, Annette doll Nanette dolls. Um, I have not. Hold on this. Oh god I can't wait to get a proper tripod. I bitch and whine about it like I've said before. Spend some money then on, on it Chris for Christ's sakes. Uh, there's the book. And then I'll uh, slowly try to, is, um, it's probably going to be Glare from Flippin' Hell, is the um, Suez 1916 game. I've just got the, uh, just got the, uh, the board out and slapped on some plexi because the thing was wrinkly. But this is, this is what I was like, ooh, whenever I see this, I'm like, okay, not a lot of counters. And for me to do, like I said, uh, you know, an afternoon with a buddy game, I don't think um, Rob and I are going to get into that. Oh my God! Here's the other thing: Rob's going to be bringing over um, his son's game that he's been designing. I hope to God he asked him. Actually, I'll phone him beforehand and say, "Don't bring it over unless you've gotten permission from the designer," because uh, I mean, I'm sure the designer, like his son, would say, "Sure, like let him do it." Uh, you can do it, Dad, but it's still, like, it's not his, you know? I mean, come on, let's be ethical here. Uh, I did, believe it or not, and uh, I don't know if you're going to watch this, but if you are meandering, Mike, I did actually, because I said in one of your comments on your videos, uh, which I still have to watch the book uh, suggestion thing, after action uh, review, report, and all that stuff, of um, the Maya <laughs> Dammer, there it is, that's hilarious, is... Um, uh, I was like, oh, you almost got me to pull out um, my copy of Patton's First Victory, which is my very, very first Hex Encounter game that I started playing. Uh, got me into it. Uh, the reason why I picked that game was uh, it was inexpensive, low counter density. The counters were smaller than the hexes. Um, Marco Omni Gamer highly recommended it. Um... Uh, small footprint. It was really, um, yeah, uh, and uh, I'm really happy actually I picked that one because, um, and that led me off onto this wild adventure. All right. See you later. Hope you're around a freaking awesome time. See ya.